All right, so don't ever ask your dog to do something that you yourself wouldn't do. Today, it's Clay's water introduction. Let's go. Everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone, and we are on a absolutely gorgeous 85 degree day, no wind, and it's the perfect time in the middle of the summer to be doing water work with your dog. Water work is huge, okay? Um, it's really good exercise, it helps keep your dog cooler, especially this time of year, and it's a lot of fun. I have my buddy here that we left un, uh, unnamed for just a second. I think you guys may notice who he is, but as soon as I say his name, he's gonna be ready to thunder. Go make a retrieve, all right? This stuff is a lot of fun, but it takes a little bit of time to truly build a good introduction. We have um, him out here swimming like a pro. We're gonna give him a couple more, and then today we're gonna be moving into a introduction brand new with clay all right this will be the first time that he is attempting this and i'm going to show you step by step what we're going to do to help him good boy we're gonna make a small correction because he's doing a little bit of mouthing good here heel now shake it off there you go good and you can even do fun bumpers okay you can see how much fun he's having, right? Um, keeps him cool. He's getting good exercise, and these are all important things for our dogs throughout the summer. Now, this does not happen overnight, and you may be working with your dog now going, how do I help them? How do I make improvements? How do we get through this? And if you want your dog to swim like this, you'll follow today's steps. Let me get him back here, and then we're gonna switch over to Clay. Good boy. We're using DT Systems H20 1820 collar today. And the cool thing about that is this um, transmitter as well as the collars are 100% waterproof and your transmitter will actually float. So if you're at the lake on the boat and you drop it, doesn't happen as often as if you have a three-year-old, he likes to just grab stuff and chuck it into the water. Heel, no, fetch, good, shake it off. There you go, good boy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and switch out for clay and we're gonna get started. All right, so two main important things here. I have clay and you already see some level of interest here. And these are a couple of things that are, are stemming from what is going on today. We have a nice warm day, it's sunny. He's hanging out out here. He sat for a couple minutes while I played with um, Thunder and he likes to play fetch. You need a couple things. You need something that he's gonna want to go after. And then two, we're going to be good pack leaders and we're going to join him, all right? Go ahead, come on. Now, when we start this out, hey, 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 we've got a puppy that we've built bumper drive. If you've watched any of his previous videos, you've seen some of that development. Clay, come on, go ahead, okay. So we'll throw a warm up here. He's run up here, he's gonna grab that. Good boy, good boy. He's gonna bring it back to me. Now, because he is comfortable splashing around on the edge a little bit, um, we're gonna be ready. I've got shorts on today. I've got some boat shoes that can get wet, all of those kind of things. Be prepared to get in the water with your dog. Now, my recommendation here, and this is a kind of a pro tip, it's transitions here, okay? It's easier for us to get him to go from wading around, splashing around in the water to swimming than it is going to be for us to get him from dry land into the water to swimming. So we're gonna start with him in the water and I'm just gonna get right in with him here. Good, we're both in the water, we're doing this together, right? Okay, hey, okay. And we're gonna throw this short one. Oh, and I might have already screwed up, no. Yeah, I threw one a little bit. We're kind of crowded here with all this vegetation. Here, okay. I'm gonna throw one right over here. I don't want to ask him to swim right off the bat. Good boy. We want to do some retrieves. Good. In the water, okay? We're making these retrieves. Good. Okay. 
He's excited about it. Go ahead. Here, play. Here, good boy. Ready? Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Nice job. Come here. Okay, so now I'm going to start to build this out. This is going really well. Is he going to just do it? No. This is going really well. Now I have extra bumpers and you're going to see that here. He's right on that edge. I don't know if you can 100% see that. He's right on the edge. He's getting to that point where maybe I could swim, but I'm not going to actually break over and do that. And a lot of times we just need a little additional enticement. So while he's thinking, maybe I should go out there, we can throw him another one. Ooh, right on that edge. Like, can I go get it? Woo! See how quick this drops off. Hiya, hiya. Good. Um, a couple things about our pond specifically. We have a nice gradual, uh, gradual incline into the water. We don't want a big drop off. That's going to be something that can potentially startle your puppy, which is going to set you back. This comfort splashing around is all good. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so now let's see if we can get some better length this way. Ready? Okay. Good dog. Ah, that one's really, really close, folks. Good. He's like, ah, how do I do this? Clay here. Clay here. Clay. Here. Boy. Good. Ready? Come on. Okay. That's probably going to be just out of sight there. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. He's like, these are right on the edge, Dad. I know I'm going to have to swim to get those. So this is what I'm talking about, about being ready to get just a little bit wet. Okay. Good. Okay. But be encouraging. This is not something where you're going to throw him in. This is not something good that he may pick up in one session. Good. Ready? Okay. Good boy, good boy. We had somebody ask just the other day that they were like, I'm, I'm worried about this. Like my dog gets out, she loves the water here, splashing around, having a really good time, but won't actually swim. And I really want her to be able to swim. It's gonna happen, folks, if, we, if you continue on this path. Ready? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so now I've kind of got a judge, and he's got a pretty good judge, too. Right where I need to throw it, it's just like a foot or two farther than what that one was there. Ready? Okay. 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 Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Try and keep my microphone. See how he's interested in following me? Good boy. Okay. <laughs> Balancing on those front legs there. Good. We might almost be too gradual here because there's no, no here. Hey, ready? Okay. Good. We can keep this up. This is fun. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Woohoo! There it is. That's swimming. Okay. That is the, the baby steps that we needed to see him go just a little bit farther. 
Were we successful with the retrieve of the bumper? No, but as he builds confidence, he's not gonna have a problem going out there to swim after those. Good boy, good boy. Ready? Okay. Okay. Come on. He says, I don't wanna swim again. Okay. Build him up a little bit. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, so that is a fantastic first session for him. Come on. Okay. I'm trying to do just a couple of these that I know are shorter. Confidence boosters again about going right for them. That's good. Good job. But that's it, okay? He didn't tear off and swim across the pond in his first session, and most of your dogs are not going to do that either, okay? That's fine. Okay. Building confidence, having fun out here, getting in the water with him. Good boy, good boy. That is what you need to do, okay? Be patient, be patient. And if you're watching this in a different part of the year, right? You're like, hmm, it's March, but I wanna do my water introduction and we're in Northern Iowa, okay? Probably not a good idea. Keep this in mind. Can you get in the water in your tennis shoes or your water shoes? He's going to pick them up for us. And that's like baby almost borderline swimming. Just building confidence while we're talking here. Um, make sure you can get in the water. Not I can put waders on and I can withstand the cold when I'm bundled up. Your dog wants to have fun with this. And if you enjoy getting in the water, they will too. Come here. I'm going to help him pick the rest of these up, folks. And then after that, we will do a handful more sessions like this. Good. Okay. Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. I'll go get those in a minute. I think this is a perfect time to call it without being, he says, I'm gonna go get them now. I think this is a good time to call this session without getting to, to be a greedy trainer. Um, we've made some really good progress here. We'll be able to do this a couple times when we've got good weather like this and in no time, this guy will be swimming like a machine. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Clay. We will see you in his next video as he picks up all of the rest of these bumpers. He said, nope, not 100% ready to swim. Good job. Good job, buddy. Let's go.